Am I audible online? Am I audible? Silence. Yes. Any yes. yes. Wait. The second important fiber crop. Fiber crop. This is as known as a golden fiber. Golden fiber. Manat Abbas, suni aapko? Ah, kiski thi? Manat. Is Bangladesh separated from India? Bangladesh separated from India, which becomes as a leading producer of a jute in a world market, said properly, Brichit. Jute has required, jute require the hot and humid weather conditions, hot and humid weather conditions, areas, it should be as a possess the 120 to 150 centimeters annual rainfall, 120 to 50 centimeters, 150 centimeters annual rainfall, 120 to 150 centimeters annual rainfall, hot, humid weather conditions, hot and humid weather conditions, average temperature 30 degrees Celsius, 30 degrees Celsius, alluvial soils, alluvial soils favorable for production of a jute production, favorable for the jute production. Jute has basically producing in a parts of a Meghalaya, Parts of Assam, Meghalaya, West Bengal, Urissa, West Bengal and Urissa. Presently, the Indian jute has demanded in a, it has demanded in a Southeastern Asian countries, Southeastern Asian countries, Southeastern Asian countries, but as per the demand, area under the jute production is a lower. To increase the area under the jute productive areas, Jute production, Government of India introduced the jute policy, national jute policy, national jute policy in which year? 2005, national jute policy in 2005, in which government emphasized over to increase area under jute production, jute production to increase area under jute production. Jute has presently used for a manufacturing of a ropes, mats, carpets, sacks, S-A-C-K-S, S-A-C-K-S, carpets, etc. Presently, the jute has mixed with the synthetic fiber, synthetic fiber, which is durable and work for a longer duration. Longer duration, longer duration. India is the second largest after the Bangladesh. Third largest producing of a jute is a Myanmar. M A Y A N M A R, Myanmar. I think crops are over. Rethi Abibi, rubber hogi? Rubber, tea, coffee. Next, reforms. What type of the reforms, modifications occurred in agriculture after the independence of India? Independence of India, in which first as a land reforms, government of India introduced as a land reforms in India, land reforms, which included as a abolition of a zamidari system, zamidari system. Second one, allotment of a land to the refugees, which came after the partition of a country. Third, Partition of country. Third, consolidation of smaller land holdings into bigger one. Consolidation of land holdings, smaller land holdings into bigger one. Fourth one. Fourth, collectivization. Collectivization means that land 
which is as unused or left by the people after the partition of a country, that land occupied by the government and given to the needy persons, given to the needy persons, fifth land reform, tenants becomes the permanent tenants, T-E-N-A-N-T-S, tenants becomes the owners of land, tenants becomes the owners of land, which with introduction of a green revolution, production of a grains increase and India becomes as a self-reliant, self-sufficient in food grains, self-sufficient in food grains. Merits of a green revolution are farmers becomes as the richer, farmers becomes the richer, India is a self-sufficient in a food grains, self-sufficient in food grains, positive balance of trade increase in India in which has a more number of exports are there compatible with the imports, positive balance of trade, positive balance of trade in which more exports compatible with the imports at the time of the partition, India imported their food grains from America, China, America and China towards India. So after the green revolution, India exported grains towards the world market compatible with imports. Next, Richard, what are the demerits of a green revolution? Two demerits, then you can go. Yes, Richard. Uh, 